two prototyping styles I like to think about when we talk about machine learning. So the first one is Wizard of Oz. And so uh, Wizard of Oz is where you basically build a facade of a system, but there's a human being back there. That's the whole point of Wizard of Oz. Um, but in this case, you know, uh, one of the ways that you can understand whether a machine could do it is can a human even do it given enough time, right? So we assume machines can do things faster than us. They can find maybe certain types of generalizations we can't um, find. But if there's just no way for you to even understand what information you would need to make a decision to do something, then you're probably going to have a very hard time building a system that would do that. Um, so Wizard of Oz is, is basically, from a prototyping standpoint, you either you build some type of, say, web interface or app interface. There's some interface for a person on the back end to gather that information, to do something, and then respond back to the person. Um, but this is based on the assumption that they don't actually know that it's a human being back there. Um, so you can start to understand different trust issues around that as well. I think that's really valuable. Um, and the next one is a concierge approach. And so this is the, the opposite of that. So um, in the forefront, you actually don't have any interface other than maybe email or chat or phone, but it's a human being talking to another human being to understand things. But then you're building tools on the back end to actually automate a lot of the processes that the human being is doing.